Order, order. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, please loan me a minute of your time and allow me to understand what I just heard. The defendant placed his hands on this woman because she was wrapped like a present. I felt like she was wearing that outfit for me. If she did not want it, then she would have dressed decently. Tight jeans that caught my hands to her backside. A flowing dress draped over a delicious outline. A flashy outfit that both said what she had. Too mature for a girl to claim she isn't bad. Robe so transparent I could count every pore on her body. The tighter they became, the more I wished I were even a tread on her. And the shorter they were cut, I wanted to be the ground below her. Sleeveless shoulders, her brassiere peaking on dainty arms, or better, strapless, back exposed that goes in to a beautiful bosom, cradled breasts in a deep neckline, plump, soft. I had to have them in my hands. How could I not? She was calling me. Every part of her was calling me. The silence was palpable. She would have loved it if she just stayed still. I would have done so well by her. She would have loved it. Again, palpable. Sir, the jury does not agree. You see, the way you talk of clothes and bodies, I would have taught you either a tailor or a mortician. But rather, you rip clothes and kill dreams. You did not mention how long you stared at her, piecing this delusion in your mind. You did not mention how you did not even approach her. You did not bother to introduce yourself, knowing you will be rejected because you did not care about her opinion. You wanted to hide your identity. You care only about taking, pleasing yourself and only yourself, as if she were an object for that one use. Do you even know the name of who you attacked? What is the verdict? Guilty.